Buzz Nation, what is up? Welcome back to yet another one from us. And we are coming to you from one of our favorite states, a year state, the state of Burkina Faso, from the one and only Captain Ephraim Chowry. I think he always has something he's doing in his country. And we, and never, we, are, we are missed because we, we are learning on that. We news from Burkina Faso because this guy is not here to joke. Guys, just some few months ago, we remember Burkina Faso, Sikram Chowre was talking to children like, um, children journalists. So he was, he was trying to have a conversation, a very serious conversation with students, journalists from different parts of Burkina Faso, different schools, just trying to engage them on the state of affairs in Burkina Faso. As small as those kids were, the captain made sure that he teaches them about Whatever is happening, he tells them every single thing that France is doing and has been doing to Burkina Faso. But he even told them about um, the story of wheat in their country. France having told them that wheat cannot grow in Burkina Faso. Parce que ce matin, par exemple, lorsque vous, vous avez pris votre petit déjeuner, c'est des croissants que vous avez pris? Ou c'est du pain? Qu'est-ce que vous avez mangé des gâteaux? C'est fait à base de farine, farine de blé, c'est ça? Est-ce que vous savez que le blé, c'est pas produit ici? Nous, on nous a dit à l'école que le blé, c'est en Amérique, c'est en Europe. Voilà, voilà le cours qu'on a appris. But he came and disputed those claims by France and their researchers. Sometimes you wonder where these researchers come from, honestly. Yeah. Who come and tell us we can't grow this here, we can't do this here. According to who? And their researchers are usually... Buy us so that they can sell you wheat. You know? <laughs> yeah, so that is what he told the kids that no, that has always been a lie. We've by actually. The way, yeah. by the way, he said wheat, milk. Mm. You remember milk? He said cocoa. cocoa. Yeah, he said, and he said they are mm. going to grow cocoa. Yeah. Yeah, he said a lot of crops, guys. Yeah. Vous avez bu du lait, c'est ça? Vous n'avez pas bu du lait? Souvent, vous buvez du lait à la maison. Et c'est quel lait vous buvez Ah, Nido Ça vient d'où <rire> Pour ceux qui prennent le café, on nous avait fait comprendre que vos chocolats, le café et autres, c'est dans les pays où il pleut, parce que ici c'est la savane, c'est le désert, il ne pleut pas, on ne peut pas cultiver. On nous avait encore menti, c'est faux. Le café pousse bien, le cacao ça pousse bien, il y a des gens qui ont des champs ici, et ça produit très bien, même à Ouagadougou ici, Il y en a qui ont des arbres de cacao dans leur cours. Ça veut dire que les chocolats que vous pouvez envier chez les enfants qui sont dans des familles un peu aisées, tous les enfants peuvent manger les chocolats au Burkina. Nous avons découvert que c'est possible. Le lait, pourquoi on doit importer On peut le faire. C'est pour vous dire qu'il y a beaucoup de choses, on ne nous avait pas dit la vérité. Those that were, they were told that they cannot grow in Burkina Faso, it's desert, it's arid, I don't know what, you know, those narratives. But Trado was like, you know what, we can grow these things and do then our own research. That's the importance of doing your own research and not hearing from other people. And we find out that it can actually grow in this part and this part of our country. And we have started growing it. And we are soon going to be harvesting. You guys will be eating bread, cakes, croissants made, from the same... In wheat that comes from Burkina Faso. Faso. And they say that they are going to be in exporting wheat, yeah. not importing. Exactly. Yeah. Je vous disais tout de suite le blé, on nous a dit nous à l'école, c'est comme si on peut pas le faire ici. On nous a menti. On cultive le blé ici. Ça marche bien. Et nous allons le développer. Des gens ont commencé cette année. J'ai pu voir des gens qui l'ont fait dans le cadre de l'initiative présidentielle. Et on m'a dit qu'il y a quelques années de cela, des gens, des particuliers l'ont essayé et ça marche. Donc, actuellement, nous sommes en train de semer du blé dans certaines superficies dans l'initiative présidentielle. Ce que vous mangez doit être produit ici. So, in December 15, there's this uh, report about the agropastoral and fisheries offensive, the cultivation of wheat desired by the president of Burkina Faso, Ibrahim Traoré, wheat cultivation is a mission that the president of transition, His Excellency Ibrahim Traoré, wants to see come to fruition. This is the Minister of Agriculture, Animal and Fishery Resources, Commander Ismail Sombi, who said this in December 15, 2023, 
when he visited the wheat field in Bagre, in which Ibrahim Torre had already advised them to do it. Mm. And he said that we have made 15 tons of seeds available to producers. So we are going to do it no matter what. He also added and said, even if we have to pitch tents at the water's edge and hold horses to water, like pour water with horses, horses, we will do it. Yeah. So, guys, watch this video and tell us if it's not possible. In Bagre, they have harvested wheat just now. So guys, what you have seen is wheat in Bagre being harvested. Mm. Something that the French told Burkina Faso people in schools, guys. In schools, imagine we need to change our education mm. system mm. because what the kids are learning in school is like we cannot grow wheat in Burkina Faso. But looking at it, they have grown wheat in Bagre. And they, mm. We even ate bread from mm. the wheat in Bagre. So we need to change our education system. Voilà pourquoi je dis. On va vous apprendre beaucoup de choses et on va réviser le contenu de ce qu'on vous apprend. Someone is saying, why grow wheat? It's, it's some French, I don't know what commodity. Why don't you grow um, some local, I don't know what. I don't know what the comment was saying. I'll try yeah. and find it. Like you grow a local food. Yeah, was, local Is food. that grain called? Yes, that's It one. is very high in nutrients. Yeah, but my thing is, knowing the Sahel, knowing the West Africa, especially Francophone countries, yeah. They are, they, they are largely influenced by French culture. Yeah. And trying to remove that from their system will take time. You'd rather remove it gradually as you introduce your own grains, your own whatever, in, in supplementing the wheat that comes from, you know, France and all of these countries. Because it's going to be difficult to say, we are no more growing wheat in this country. We will not be importing, yeah, we'll not be importing wheat from France. You might even find that the population will now start, start turning against you because their diet consists of mostly wheat products. Okay. Okay. So when when France mm -hmm. came to uh, the Francophones, mm -hmm. they had a, a project mm -hmm. for assimilation. Mm -hmm. Assimilation means removing out who you are yeah, and putting, putting in a French. So everything, culture, mm -hmm. religion, mm -hmm. you know, you had to be French. Mm -hmm. But the problem is the Sahel is mostly Islamic. Mm -hmm. So how do you turn this Islamic person into a Christian mm. and another thing was how do you turn a polygamous person mm. who is following his, his mm. uh, religion. Quran religion into a monogamous Christian mm. it was impossible so they brought out another thing called association mm. like we associate mm. but it, it came with assimilation after you are assimilated you became like a French so you could join the French parliament and all that mm -hmm. you get French names and all that. Yeah, so I think it's going to be gradual. We can't just yeah. say, no wheat, no, no, we are now yeah, yeah. introducing our grains, uh, no whatever, no whatever, because you're also a government, you know, you need to put this thing, yeah. introduce this thing slowly. Then come slowly. with the culture, because yeah. culture, mm -hmm. like food culture was embedded into mm -hmm. it. Eh? Mm -hmm. When you go to a restaurant, they bring bread. Mm -hmm. You see, like the first thing is bread. It's like in, in, in Europe. So... That culture of olive of bread is there. Mm. So what they need to do is grow their own wheat because they still need to keep on eating bread. Yeah, then maybe with this younger generation, now they'll start removing and telling them that this has been our this original is, food. Yeah. We would rather go back to it and it says better nutrients, it's better than their food. Now it will make sense. Even the kids won't revolt against you and say, this guy brought us some... You know, and, you know, tasteless <laughs> grains and removed our wheat because you also want the kids to understand what is and that's, wheat is, is delicious, exactly. uh, but it's not very yeah. good for the health. Exactly. 
So Captain Ibrahim Traore is a very visionary man. He knows what he's doing. He has a plan. He's not like our yeah. government who just come for five years and want to steal from us and leave. This guy looks at the future like what will happen in 50, 100 years when I'm gone? How will this country proceed, you know? And uh, something that amazes me and makes me wish I had a president like this one is he doesn't look out, he looks in. Mm. The last time we talked about him, we were talking about him looking at the students in agriculture mm. and providing farms. These guys, he's not telling them, come, go out and get employed. No, he's mm. telling them, you have this That's knowledge, that. we are going to give you land mm. so that you can create demo farms, mm. which you farm and sell your things, but you're also training your fellow youth and the villagers mm. how to do farming. Mm the right way yeah. so that we can increase agriculture and so that you can motivate more young people too. It's us to do it, mm -hmm. not others. And that's why you're seeing, he's saying we are not going to import wheat. We are going to grow wheat and export mm -hmm. a, a, a plus for Burkina Faso. So amazing, guys. Amazing. Please let us know what you think about this. I mean, because I, I really want to grow wheat in, in T-zones or grow tea in those dry soil. Let's zones. remove the government, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to I want to grow apples. When the government is right, anything in the... I want to grow apples in, in the yes. tropics. Okay, well, Mbogo is doing that. All the best. Mbogo is doing that. All the best. Guys, let us know what you think about Burkina Faso and all of these developments that are always coming in. We are just amazed. We are just... Yeah. We will love Captain Ibrahim Traoré and we pray that God protect him, our ancestors guide him to the best destination for Burkina Faso. So let us know what you think down below. Don't forget to like the video, share the video, definitely subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.